Waking up guys, I've just been to see my friend who's a vag breaker because from my research online on eBay advertised are uh, these clips that I need and they come up as BMW, Mercedes, Audi, etc. I've got these airbag plugs and this four pin connector that looks kind of similar to the one that goes into said motor. This is the old motor um, and this is similar looking to the plug that goes into there as you can see. So I'm going to dissect it. I'm going to go with this one and uh, I'm going to go with this one, take it apart, pull that purple strip out, press the pins down and push from the front. But I've lost my little pin so I'll try and relocate that. I'll locate that, I'll try and locate that and crack on. So, remove that, press said tab, and pull out. Pull out, bubble. Let's have a look at the original. You know what? It's got the same colour grommet, what I've bought as well. What I no longer need. Spot on that. Spot on. Bang on. We used the purple one. Let's see. With this purpley kind of one. Oh my word. We're in. Work can continue. On the 128Ti. No thanks to BMW. You are garbage. They're all secure. These end ones, they're soldered in. They're done. I just need to solder these bits of wire onto them. Put some shrink wrap on. Bit of crap's come out of that. But that closes like that. And that can go back in. A little longer than a few minutes later. taped up can't even tell I can now fit the duct the active duct all that palaver to fit this to put the plug in there let's get this on you don't have the right fit fittings for there there's a gap I don't understand why there's a gap there. I haven't got nothing to look at. And these pieces are broke. I've still got them, but there was nothing connected to that. This was totally destroyed. Absolutely smashed to smithereens. After examining the old part, this is correct. On there, you'll see in a minute, or you've seen previously, that's dropped down. So therefore, it's not sitting flush on top and the grommet's not going in. But the grommets are correct. I took them out of there. And as you can see on this one, even though it's damaged, it's flush. And it has bolts on the back. And clearly, a lot of people sell these separate. And this, even though it looks new, this is the one thing that I bought second hand underneath this bonnet. Um, I, got, I got it on offer for £54 instead of 60 and they reduced it down from 90, so it's virtually new. Um, I'm gonna adjust that now, crack on with that. 20 minutes later. This is the passenger light, guys. Now this light, I presumed it was off the car, but it's not. It was actually placed in by the guys that bought it off. 
it was a nice thing made the car look better but it was a bit deceiving but not because there was a light in the boot that was smashed to bits and hey up Jan it was smashed to bits and I contacted them and said look you've left the light in the boot um, off one of your other cars it's got uh, these modules on what you'll need if someone buys another car they'll be a bit upset they said no that's your light but now I understand why so anyway what I've done is I've put all my these are off my light that was my light that was in the boot smashed to bits and that's where the main impact was and I filled various holes and created a Frankenstein this was a big crack along here and now I'm about to attempt to do this bit here quick dinner break guys and an admiration my friend Dan's handiwork nice good job mate yeah, still need Now, what I've done, all these bits of plastic, this is the one I'm going to use. Because as you can see, there's a screw missing. I'm going to use that. I'm, I'm thinking that has come from there, because what I did is, I swept every single piece of plastic up I could find off the car, from under the bonnet, from under the splash tray, um, the old lights that were there, and I've... This is how I've, I've made this light. You see here, this, this piece here, and up there. That didn't need a piece, but I'm guessing this, by the look of it, did actually come from the other light from there. So I'm gonna take this off now, and what I'm using is this stuff. Now, someone gave me this tub two of these little tubs what are inside there this is new it's just come today i've been waiting for three days for it to come off uh, ebay and this is what this is and it's amazing i didn't think it was any good or going to be any good but i was wrong it's really good you know i'm not sponsored by these or anything but if you're watching if you like sending me some for free feel free but yeah i'll, I'll show you what i'm going to do i'm going to crack that piece the best I can into there, take it apart and mess about with it, get the Dremel on it, but for now. All right, mate. So the idea is I'm going to craft that in some way onto there. So I'll put this down and I'll crack on the Frankenstein I've created. Let's get the light. Frankenstein's resting in position. Moment of truth. I've plugged it in. Well, the indicators work on the plus the remote. <laughs> Carney's jumping. Near the active um, duct. Oh, oh, yes. Indicator work then, did it? Did you see it? Let's turn the lights on. Sure, there are all these lights. see it flash, I see it flashing on that box. Put a bolt in and fire the car up. That's on full beam. Working, but I don't know whether, I just said PDC failure. It looks the same inside as the other light. It does now put everything on it, but there might be a module missing maybe, I don't know. 
didn't notice me. So guys, one of the final pieces of this jigsaw is the front bumper. And some of you may have noticed it's missing something. Two parking sensors off the side because of the spec of the vehicle. As you can see here on the old one, it has parking sensors. So what I have to do, get one of these step bits. You can mark it with tape, but I know after putting this in there, it stops on the last step. So I'm happy to go for it on the last step. Now, if you get this wrong, you know you foot your bumper, aren't you? You know what I mean? So, if you're not confident, don't do it. But also, after you've drilled that hole, you've got to take off this adapter plate and use it on your new bumper. Because on the back of this bumper, you can just see there, it's already marked out for you where the sensor goes. So, once you're through, take your time, really nice and slow. You know, this is something you'd prefer to have done before you painted the thing, but this hasn't been painted, does not it? I'm trying to put, um, this hasn't been painted, has it? I'm trying to, you know, put everything on colour-coded and not paint it and buff it up and make it look nice. So, I'm going to go for it. For those interested, this is the pack I got. It's from Lidl. It's a free pack. The one I've taken out is the one I'm going to use. And uh, they're around 3 99 Not dear at all. Squeaky bomb time. Is going through that like butter. You really do take your time. I must say. no damage to the paint whatsoever do really take your time you could if you wanted go around with some fine paper really if you really wanted to i don't think i'm gonna bother i don't want to i don't want to risk it you know i've done it i'm happy that it's done there's the original one i just need to take the plate off the back of that and glue it to the inside of there i'll, I'll use that um pega tanky or something like that and leave it overnight because it isn't the quickest of products to go off but yeah I'm, I'm more than happy with that gone in to get the uh, parking sensor let's do a test simply got this scalpel and went round it slowly underneath it took it off and it reveals all the little plastic spot welds I'll just smear some of that pegatanke around there plonk it on probably um, you could super glue it on but I'm not gonna risk it I'm gonna use the pegatanke I think it's a really good product uh, <clears throat> You, uh, I'm going to clamp it as well. I'm going to get some, like the welding clamps I've got. Not, not mold. They are mold grips, but they're like the welding ones, like the U shape.
back on the next side this is the next day but if you look at that it looks quite OEM it's a bit shiny the, the black but that is solid so anyway I'm gonna crack on because look at that guys not a single bit of cloud in the sky so while this weather's nice and not being messed with I need to crack on because I want to get a bit done on the Uno Turbo today as well so let's get to it quick tip anyone that's taken these out of a new BMW now my first initial thought was how am I getting that back in and they're quite easy push it in When you've got it through, just push that into there, it screws a little, and you drop it. it, screws a little, then once you've got it in a little bit, you can push it with your fingers, and then once you've got it in with your fingers, so squeeze it, two hands obviously, get yourself a pair of these, and push it that little extra bit more. Feel it, you feel it going past the grip. And there we have it, it's back on. They're all along the side skirt as well. I'm not sure after doing this whether I needed to take them off or not. But anyway, so back to this then. And a couple of weeks ago, I bought something. So this was the temporary £20 winger bought. I've not bothered balling it up. It does actually line up all right. It's just, it's puffed out a bit there where I've been straining it up from what was done to it. I've actually advertised this wing for sale, but I bought another one. It was £220 more than that one, but we have this one. And it's mint, apart from two little chips there, which I will touch in. But aside from that, the car's got everything with it now, apart from one thing, as you can see, the duct is missing, but today, We've had a delivery, and there we have it, the duct. So let's crack on. It's not even the right part. No, it's not right. It's not right unless something's missing from here doesn't look right at all. Ah. I've left this bracket loose because I'm doing a driving with the wing. I'm going to fit it because I'm trying to line up the holes with the paint so I can move this left and right slightly. But I've had to pull this out a bit because they're nothing. They're just flimsy. And I'm trying to get the paint on the screws matching where the paint was so it doesn't look like oh that's been off and been painted when it hasn't you know and I don't want it to look like the wing's been off I want it to look nice today's job is one of the final jobs guys lining up the front of the car and this is a job I need to do and I've been trying to get a dint man to do this and I'll, uh, I'll add something in a little later regarding dint men and these minor dints that are on the car, that, I said to one, I'll leave the light out. It's already out, I'll leave it. Oh, no, no, put it back in, mate. You can build your front end up. I'm like, no, I'll leave it out. It makes sense, mate. You can get to the dint underneath. It's easy. Oh, no, we like, we, I like a challenge. 
you like money. He said that was hard when I showed him the video of these dimps. You can see that there. I'm bothered about the paint, just a dint in, small dint. And one more. Back in there. And because there's only three dips, I also said do the Uno, which has about six dimps in it what i want doing as well small little dimps and another one said they're too hard no that's all this yeah something like that I'll, I'll put the screenshot in but yeah any good dip men out there get on to me so bracket bolt there and there i've already undone the wing it's still in place that's where it's bent out I need to pull this out now, it should come out. It's actually attached to this still. It's actually attached to this bracket still. But, uh, I'll get on with doing that now, then I can slide this bracket out, strain it up like I have done with the other one. The other one's in, I've had the light in. I took it back out so I can look at that one to uh, look. I think it could do with going in maybe another mill. sticking a bit and I don't know how there's a spring there what you can see somehow that spring and that one vanished vanished got the bracket bent to what I'm happy with and it's loose so I can adjust it up and down to match up the paint Holes, although it doesn't look it on this camera, but uh, it is. So it was the tape there, uh, just to protect the nuts, as I always do. And to get this is a bit of a squeeze. I've got to squeeze my hand up there and then tighten this up. I've undone this the best I can, but you are best with the wheel off. But uh, that's not going to be happening because I can't find the wheel nut. Real lucky nut. to move this that's held in with this plastic clip press that in and slide it up to get it out of that slot to get it in you just put it down there and down there and there's two grommets that are built into this luckily not been damaged and they push back into those two holes Front's built up, all it needs is the front bumper putting on, and the car's ready to drive. Bit of an issue with the bonnet catches, but I just need to make a makeshift spring on one of them. Do a couple of dry runs with the old brackets, pushing them in and out, rather than close the bonnet and being stuck with the bonnet down. But other than that, this car's done. I'll uh, try and get the bumper on when the rain stops, but then I'm thinking, should I leave it out? for this little job for the dint man when an honest one comes along who's up for the job buzzing found the wheel locking nut. These have a reversible screwdriver by the looks and that is identical. If any of you remember the old Astras and Ed, well Vauxhalls. I used to have loads of them. If you know you know. But I've actually got one that I've been using that I've had from the 90s uh, to repair this vehicle. But what I did know why? Nice. Something else 
I don't know what, quite what that is. I can't really see it. Um, I don't know how I got, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just glad I found that lucky nut, to be honest. There's all this stuff in the boot as well. Dog mat, water bottle. You know who's this car was? My poster, your stuff back if you want it. You probably want to just chuck it in the bin, like, but you know. Granddaughter, see? Look at that. That might mean something to someone. You know, they could have passed. Um, to Emily from Gran and Derek. Is it Derek? Yeah, anyway, what else have we got? Uh, some ladies products new hair clip from Primani anything else is anything under that don't seem like it anyway you know as it is you can have it all back I don't want it it's all going to go in the bin the card you want the card I'll send it to you might be sentimental. Taking a look at the light brackets on the Frankenstein light. Hey, that's an original one, that one back there. Can you just see it hiding away down there? All brackets intact. There's a light bracket. There's a light bracket. There's a scar. The other light. See this piece that was broke? Found it. Zoom right in. Just see where the crack was. Where that piece was. When I took all this uh, out. And uh, what was it from? When I was messing with the under tray, this, this fell out. This piece. So luckily, saved it. And I put a bit of that stuff on that back bracket where it was cracked. So this has got all of its brackets on. All present and correct. I need to put a bolt in that one. But yeah, there's the bolt there. Bit of a rusty one. Makes sense being underneath there. They're very dirty, I noticed, underneath these wheel arches. The amount of crap that gets through these vents on these. So, yeah. Day four. Another day, guys, and I'm still not well. I've got the old selfie stick here. So, I'm on the BM, and I want the bumper on. I'll show you what I've done, what the stint man couldn't do, and what I have achieved. And also, I have some good news. Put the jumper back on and get the thing running for a bit whilst I work on it. Because I've also... I'll show you what I've done. I've done quite a bit on it now. It's... Uh, I just need to put the front bumper on, to be honest. And... Uh, oh, yeah. I've ordered a light bracket. Because it was missing one. And apparently it's important. So... The bumper will have to come off, but I'm putting the bumper on because on Saturday uh, I was out DJing in a club. So I didn't see all this so-called wind, but when I woke up the next day and looked in the back at my beautiful bumper, it had blown over and smashed into a concrete fence post which was laid down and a very rusty fire bin and damaged my bumper. So I'm not impressed at all. Anyway, let's crack on. So, after weeks and weeks of searching, I found the previous owner of this vehicle. So, when I got the car, I looked in the glove box, did all the usual things. Looked through any papers I could find, looked everywhere in the car. I found some personal belongings, the dog stuff, etc. There was a 
birthday card to a grandchild and um, the car actually told me a few weeks ago but I still couldn't find the owner it told me the name of the owner it come up said hello such and such a buddy and uh, I went all oh, right so I've gone onto the maps and the phone book the phone book doesn't work unless the phone's connected so I couldn't find them that way I went on home and I seen the home address so I presume the street was this so-called street I've gone online with this person's name I'm trying to be careful here gone upstairs with this person's name gone onto Facebook typed in the name and written the word where the car come from Scotland it come from Scotland so I typed in the person's name in Scotland and the first person that come up I thought that's her but then I looked on and the name of the girl's boyfriend was a name of the two names in the phone book that was it, it was just these two people and it put me off because the street I presume is in a different section of where it came from of the country and therefore I didn't pursue it and I found another two in the area where I presumed it was from and messaged them. One of them got back to me after I went on her brother's Facebook, linked from her account, with the same name that was in the phone book. And on his wall, it said, please promote my sister's business. So I went on a business page, messaged her on a business page, got back to me, said, oh, thank you for getting in touch. That's really nice that you try to find someone to give them back the stuff, etc. Um, it's not me, unfortunately, though. I hope you find them. I was like, all oh, right, gutted, but thanks for getting back to me. So uh, I left it, and then I was watching a tutorial on YouTube if there was a way of you getting into the phone book on a BMW system without having your phone connected. And when I was watching it, the guy was in uh, an F40, like this shape, model, but uh, it was a new one and it was a good spec and he touched the screen and started opening it up like an iPhone I was like all right my screen does that touch screen does it so I went back onto the maps messing about and I went let me just try some and I opened up the maps and it wasn't actually the street what it said was the street it was a street just off it so I went in armed with that street couldn't find it online because I'm typing in the wrong part, part of the country still and then um, I've looked and it come up and it was in a different part and that part I then typed in that person's name with that part of the country and who popped up again the first person that I presumed it was so I looked on their account found their partner he had a business I gave him a call and straight away he said yes and I was buzzing we had a nice chat he told me all about it and uh yeah, he said he had the spare keys somewhere and possibly the paperwork for me and he's going to route them out and I'm over the moon if he sends me that stuff I can get driving this the same day and get picking my little girl up from school and put a big smile on her face so I'm happy that I have finally found the owner because it's been on my mind it has been stressing me out a bit knowing that someone out there has got spare keys to your car and was about to go and pay BMW to reprogram the key so that no other keys worked and just this key but it's all just added cost. These new cars, it's cost, 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 cost. But anyway, let's crack on. So, here's where I've got with the wing. Sort of kink. It's still there. But I did have a go, but I think you need uh, better tools than what I did because I was hitting it a bit too delicately. I had a uh, tape wrapped around the hammer and insulation tape, but got this in all nice you know the job that we couldn't do but uh, you can see those raised bits there that we didn't guide it so you know I will if anyone's out there that can tap them down or something you know give us a shout if you I'm sure I didn't man one that you know tackles anything you know I don't want to sound ungrateful to the other didn't man or anything which I'm not 
you know, we, they all do different things. From what I gather, they all like to go out and just do a quick little dim for a, you know, car showroom, bum, 80 quid, 100 quid, whatever they charge in the pocket, they're gone. You know, they're not, the Americans do it different, but I'm sure there's some of you UK guys out there that do it different as well and like to tackle anything and do anything and go, that's a piece of piss, mate, I'll do that in five minutes, the rounds in a minute. They're the kind of guys I like the game for anything and do anything and can do anything. A bit like myself, so I'm going to get myself a different repair uh, kit and I'm going to start attempting doing these things on my cars and myself and you know, the little dints. Anyway, I've lined up this wing. That looks like that's moved to me. It might be because it's jacked up actually. Yeah, because that was nice and tight. Maybe the car's flexed a bit because I've got it on the jack. But, um, yeah. Uh, he couldn't do that dint, he didn't even attempt to, that dint. Um, you know, I, don't, I just... I would attempt it, and I will attempt it myself. And he didn't attempt this one. That's the only damage left on the car, guys. The car's done. Well, back bumper. But I think I've got that sold. So, if I can take the insides of it out and put it in the other one, Oh, I forgot about this. But that's nothing as well. It pulls out where your fingers at. Look, I'm pulling it back there. Get um, some glue on that. Pull it out with a bar barrel ball. <laughs> Looks a bit promiscuous, that, doesn't it? Wee -wee. But anyway, you know what I mean. But I I'm getting rid of the bumper because of this. I can't be asked painting it. I don't want body filler in it. It's gone. Someone else can have it. So... I put some Gorilla Tape on these ball grips. These are for, uh, I'm going to try and get this side dent out here first. This is clear, nice to come out. I'm not going in as I thought they would. I've got a smaller set somewhere, which would probably be more apt. Come on. I just done it myself in the first place, like everyone said. Oh well. I've got this. Should go nicely up there. Just try and get that straight or something.
kind of tricky to get through that. Oh, going about that. I wouldn't have them risen bits if I'd have just done that myself in the first place. I don't know. There's a lot of ones. Huh. Yeah, the pair. Sometimes you just have to improvise. Got a padlock here. It's a bit of a chunky thing. Hang on. <coughs> Can't exactly get in there.
it's time for the final piece of the puzzle. The bumper's going on. Hook it on the bottom on the bar first. This is coming back off, it's only going on just to line these lights up. That's all it's going on for us to line up the lights. Almost 7 p.m. And this has just arrived. I'm having a bit of an issue with my postman. He keeps coming late, this new postman. It comes at all daft times. But anyway, I didn't know it was brand new. The part's brand new and sealed. It's a light bracket for underneath the headlight. I had one already. Um, this one's just arrived. It's just one more part that the car needs and it can be driven. Which is the induct, the intake, air intake. So... Yeah, I'm possibly, probably going to buy one next week from BMW new when I get some cash in. I have tried adding one of those buy me a coffee links there for any of you guys that want to support me. And buy me a coffee. Because I'm not monetized. So hopefully, shouldn't see adverts on mine, but I watch my own videos, you know, and adverts come up to the cheeky YouTube. So yeah, anyway. These at the top to deal with. It slides under these clips and under the headlight there. Two bolts in the side. And all these underneath, there's three on each of the under tray. Well, the splash guard on the side. And there's one, two, three on the under tray. They like freeze, don't they? So there's nine in total underneath. And it's on. <laughs> Bumpers on. Final piece to add to the jigsaw, the grill. This grill is the only aftermarket part I've bought for this car, and I've not seen it yet. Come the other day, so I'm going to be seeing it for the first time together. Yeah, 
in the rain. And I can't my rules. a bit flimsy this. That. Oh, I spilt thinners on the plastic thing and stained it. They can't have anything nice, me. I'm not have anything nice. jobs to do, one more part, obviously missing to get, the intake, the ducting, air inducts, intake, it's called the ducts on the BMW site, but anyway, change this, Bowden cable, yep, it's called a Bowden cable, if you know, you know, but we'll call it a bonnet cable, got a brand new one from BM, I'm changing it because of that. It's making me not want to close the bonnet. There's the new part from BM. Uh, £22 something. So it comes with the small section here as well, which I weren't aware of, which is under, I guess. Yeah. Looks simple enough. Opens up from the top so uh, let's crack on looks like if you screwdriver job clearly it's in those little um, lugs there uh, little lugs on the side Clip it from under there and repeat the process over there. Pop that other side out. You push in these two, um, see them, the sides. You push them in. This comes out piss.
Blue bonnet cable fitted. Yeah, it does need bolting in. No kinks, nice. Let's get this back in. Get it built up. Get the wheel on. And then we're done. But I am gonna to have to take the splash guard off the other side because I am not happy with the gap in the light. And also I've noticed this aftermarket grill. Now this is called an active duct. It moves and it is by the looks to me just slightly touching. The gap the gap's bigger on uh, that side than that slightly. Is that gonna reflect it or what? Anyone know out there? Later in the void.